At ease, Jovano. Welcome back to my channel, Yellow Sweet Potato. We are here with Days Gone, episode twenty-six. Too many episodes, but one hell of a game. In the previous episode, we did a lot. We dealt with a lot of shit. We dealt with a very problematic character, Taylor. He needed help. and i feel really bad that deacon can't be in the right place at the right time same thing happened with lisa and again we witnessed the same thing happening with taylor but worse then we helped sara conduct an experiment on one of the newts that also failed and then we dealt with an entire horde with the help of the napalm molotovs that we were had created that went pretty well so too much was done in the previous episode and in the end we saw that because sara's experiment did not work she was shifted into the cave and held kind of captive she's still continuing her research i'm really excited to see what this episode has in store for us so without wasting any more time here is episode 26 of days gone Okay so starting from where we left off we have around four missions at hand okay i'm never giving up i really want to help sara out with her research and fingers crossed because i want that cure to work she has a cure we want her to stand up and brush off her failures let's quickly do this okay, it's pretty much looks like a marsh let's go look Fine. So we have reached the place. Um, I do hear some marauders nearby. Oh, oh. she was right. Criers. Oh, damn, they're fucking crows. Never gonna leave me alone. Criers. Burn up their nests. Wait, what is he talking about? Oh, okay. We have an asshole over here. Who's dead? Okay. Okay. First, let us gather the. Hemlock that she was talking about. Is this hemlock, water hemlock? Yeah. No, this is poison. Oh, this is good. Good. This bitch. I do need to burn the nests. Yes. Got to be right around here. Burn hell. Shut up. God, that's so annoying. Let's move on to the next spot. Do we have some more hemlock over here? Yes, we do. Yeah, here's some more. More hemlock, more yes. hemlock. Need more hemlock. And we have some more. over here and here. Just Why the creepy music? I got to find more. We don't need cute creepy music. I guess we have some nests over nest. here also. Yeah, let's burn it up. Zombies can't be trusted. Obviously, it will be very stupid if you trust a zombie. Like how stupid are you to trust something that can't even talk? You trust your dog, right? Fuck. What's wrong with me? Random nonsense. So we got the hemlock for Shara, I hope. Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> That's poison, right? I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here. Okay. Corporal. Oh. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Requisition. I never stop. Never stop what? Loving you? Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Let's do the next mission. Radio to Boozer. I want to talk to Boozer. Uh, go for an errand for you. I'll do that. I'll go for an errand. Then we'll talk to Boozer. Let's go for this errand. Err. Hey Weaver. Oh, Corporal Saint John, come on in, man. Check out my. Home sweet home. Yeah, what would you done with the place? Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? 
That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. What the Ear fuck? Birds, He's out here. Anything. Sounds. Oh. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? What the fuck? Okay. Thank you. That's a luxury, bro. Okay, so we gotta find an MP3 player for Weaver. Are you serious? Hey John, you there? Weaver. Yeah, I can barely hear you though. You're breaking up. This is bad pain. I'm not surprised that it's out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah. where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when I got off the run. Green Hardy College? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97. Yeah, that's the one. Home of the fighting platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tomb. Oh shit, I gotta go. Ready to when you get there. Pick it out. Okay, we gotta... Uh, sure, Weaver. Whatever you say. Okay, so, so the community college. We have been there. We'll do that once we talk to Boozer. Damn it, sniper ambush. <laughs> Boozer, you there? Lost Lake Camp, I'm in. Deke! That's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze man, it's, uh, I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Aww. Uh, I, look, Sarah, it's a long story, but she's, she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but now they, uh, they're forcing her to stay, booze man. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Jesus, Dean. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there. We'll, we'll... Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole from the National Guard, the military, and the... the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna... Oh, God damn it! listen to me. You, we cannot let the colonel, their leader, find out about Lost Lake. He's crazy, Boozer, batshit fucking crazy. The militia, they're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers, makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, D. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then... Deke, I'm... I think you're gonna figure this out, like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah, and you get her the hell out of there, you hear me? Yeah, booze man, I hear you. Alright, that's more like it. Uh, now you're cutting out of the... I can't... Deke? Deke? I hear you, brother. I hear you, taking out. So now Boozer knows everything, and the panic in his voice says it all. We are fucking stuck over here and we have no help from the outside world. Lost Lake Camp was a paradise. The camp over here sucks. Sucks balls. I'm here. St. John! Alright, man. Uh, hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole. They're flying the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Okay, so we have a breaker over here as well. Let's just... Ah! You didn't see anything. Okay. Silent takedown. A silent here takedown. Nice. Nice. Okay. Fuck me. That's a horde. That's a horde. That's... That's definitely a horde. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do one thing. A tractor, right? Ah! 
fuck? Deal with this. Ah, oh. oh. I don't believe this. I just defeated a horde. Molotovs are good, but we lost all of it dealing with this fucking horde. I hate Weaver. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Just get some MP3 for me. Just get an MP3 player for me. Like, fuck you, Weaver. There's the flag. <laughs> Still flying. Here, yep, here it is. found it. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. We, we took on a horde for an MP3 player. Ah, oh, Weaver is so infuriating. I hope Weaver gives us something amazing. Like, should give us a gun that like destroys a horde in seconds. That was too much trouble for an MP3. I just expected a calm walk to the university, picking up a MP3 player and coming back to Weaver. Not dealing with a hey. fucking horde. Hey man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh! He said it works. Brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Oh, right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Just... Hey, Corporal St. John. You want to do ones, man? Brother from another mother. Okay, we are in his good books. I just hope that stays. Let's do this. The colonel mission. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. 
You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who the, used uh, to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. Okay. Okay, okay. For a moment over there, I thought that Deacon would get caught. What it takes to survive. Okay. So, ride out to meet O'Brien. Oh my god. O'Brien? What can he do for us? Wait, he has helicopters, right? Maybe, just maybe, he might help us get out of here. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks are mutating, some faster than others. Mm -hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need are you... blood and tissue samples. Can you handle uh, that? Are you yeah, serious? By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we need to do a task for O'Brien. The tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else, we'd like you to check. We did send a team in on foot. They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. Bro. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and, and other. You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Okay, what the fuck are they talking about? Are the zombies going through the entire evolution process again? See, I'm very skeptical about going into a cave. Because that generally means that we are about to deal with Always need scrap. a horde. Okay, that's the cave. Well, Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. Fuck. Fuck. O'Brien, oh, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, oh, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, oh, out. Oh. oh, Brian. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. 
Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, well, I probably would set you on out. Damn, 12 mutations. And this sounds very plausible considering the current situation. It gets scarier and scarier the more you know about the research that these guys are doing. I'm not ready to deal with a not horde. Anywhere. Not ready yeah, to deal with a horde. This has to be the way. <sighs> what it takes is that way. Hold on, hold Shit, on. He never saw what hit him. Hold on, what is that? Hold on, what is that? What is that? Hold on, hold up. What the fuck is that? Well, Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking. Is there something you haven't told me? Not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. I wasn't expecting a new zombie. Now I'm scared. Yeah, maybe this way. Now I'm scared. Oh my what the hell was that? god. He went that fast. O'Brien, I found another one of your men. ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. So this new thing that we are seeing is pretty much like an evolved ape of some sort. Yes. The hell, you, you didn't even see it coming. He didn't see it coming. O'Brien, uh, he uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So you guys have uh families managed to get them all out while shit was going down i'm not gonna apologize yeah that doesn't look good oh shit what the hell happened they're giving us a There's lot of stuff one. cooper are you there is anyone there nero team bravo come in this is commander james o'brien respond Found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! He's alive? Come on. What happened? What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. 
<laughs> then I see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Jen? Uh, I'm here. I can't hear I you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Listen I can't. to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Reacher. What's a Reacher? What's a Reacher? What the fuck is a Reacher? Okay, Deacon is about to shit his pants. This guy's fast and strong. Okay, but he's low. He's low on health. Bye. Die. Oh. The reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. What? How? How, O'Brien? We can track the horde's movements. Take it! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Say, hey, John, get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! God, you're kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to these guys off. How many? How many? How many? Fuck!
two hordes. Two hordes in one episode. Fuck. Shit. Those are the two words that explain my situation right now. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out. No thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Ah. Okay. O'Brien. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it takes to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper? The others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. That's a low blow. That's what I'm going to end this episode. Uh, this was one stressful episode. We dealt with two hordes and a new kind of a zombie, Reacher. That is fast. O'Brien is here to help us now, and things aren't looking good for him as well. But I hope, with the help of O'Brien, Deacon and Sarah would be able to survive and go back to Lost Lake Camp, the paradise that was left behind. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, share this video with someone who likes to play games. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Till then, keep gaming.